Hi everyone, welcome back to Alibari. It's time to release the playthrough from its freeze frame prison and get into part two. And for refreshing the cards, we can see immediately do some iron to steel conversions. Uh, you can discard this instead of a steel bar for maintenance and uh, track pieces for 24 points. And finally, ah, oh, rain's coming up. Good for the harvest though. Uh, whenever you take the excavate action, take double the number of rubble cubes. That would have been brilliant earlier on. Uh, but for now, in the weather, we need to shift them down. Rain is coming up. The harvest rate's going down, the grow rate. And we need to block off a B and a D space. So no track laying in all of this fog. Six cubes out of the bag. Four, five, six. No event cube yet. You know what? The excavation rate hasn't gone down yet. I'm going to do it. I'm not really focusing on any of the game resources or any other part of it. And I want to build in stations still. I might do some more station building later. Well, definitely going to do some more later. Get in every station. It's going to be possible. So excavation, it's still five. So five more pieces of rubble. Tons and tons of rubble. And that's six out of nine T estate spaces. Actually, no, it's it's eight spaces because this this is one great big space that's got a ton of uh, rubble on it. Eleven rubble. And then for building in a station, I'm going to go for... There's nowhere that just wants one tea leaf. So I'm going to go for three rubble cubes. So they go back to the supply. And that's another marker down. And I get my third worker for next round only. But hey, I'm down with it. And that's one of my three towards my 16 points at the end of the game. For new cards, we've got... Put an ownership marker in a tier estate space which has been cleared by the game, but don't score this space at the end. Uh, increase the crop value by two, which could trigger a harvest. And it will after a couple of rounds of rain. That's quite tempting because the grow rate would be two as well. So I would get at the moment 12 tea leaves for that and uh, ownership marker on a tea estate space again. This is four station spaces that required rubble. Nine points for that. Weather, it's not foggy anymore, so I can grab those back. And it is rainy. Sun is on the horizon, though. So we need to decrease the work rates for these, but increase the grow rate for the tea leaves. Does not sound like a lot is in this bag. Four, five, six. And there is the event cube. Okay, so yeah, that's the real downside of me messing about with tea leaves and rubble and stuff. All this is just building up in the back. So, we need to switch to the other events uh, marker card. And, I uh, can't hold them. We <laughs> need to complete the next incomplete station. Ignore Siliguri Town. Put a game ownership marker in each free space. Yes, we are not going to have enough game markers for all the things that it can do here. So we cannot build in this station anymore, which isn't too bad if we want to try and go for that. Build in all of the stations. Markers, though, and I've spent a lot of them on uh, tier states. So that's all done for me. I can't go in those spaces. And cubes one, two, and three go back in the back. There is not a lot in this bag that is not event cubes now. So maybe I need to think about that, especially since I've got an extra worker this round. I should probably think on that and go for... I, I definitely want that. Oh, I tell you what, I definitely want that card, but I'm going to build in that station space to get that card, rather than take up a whole action doing it. I do want to try and get some resources. Maybe I should go there twice. Excavating's just four cubes. Especially, you could have got that double card. Gone on there twice when it's five and done like 20 rubble cubes. Just cleared off that last estate in one great big go. Even with the work rate being four. Yeah, I should have got that last round. If I'd have got that, I could have gone on both excavate spaces and without even using chai, I could have cleared off that whole thing. And that would have been an achievement. So I don't want to do T conversion. I don't really want to do excavation just for four. Yeah, I think more iron, which will then convert. It'll work out well, trust me. So resolving these, I can take two iron. Yeah, I'm actually going to take two iron and a chai twice. But that is also removing cubes from the bag, isn't it? Well, they're only going to stay on there if I don't take the chai. They're not going to go back into the bag unless... Uh, well, more than one will get put back in the bag when event cube one rolls around again. So that chai is out. This four iron is in my supply. So I could do two conversions at the moment, two t steel bars. 
which I could build with a steel bar and get an equipment, rather than paying three chai or two steel bars here by just taking the equipment action. So I'll put one of these back in the tea house while I'm remembering, I don't get him back next round. But for building in a station, I was going to, so it's this isn't it, eight rubble to build in uh, Tindaria. And I would like, please, a contract card, which will boost and fire. I've already done this, 12 points right there, and increase the crop value, which is going to get me. Should I just do it now? I should just do it now, right? Uh, because then the rain will trigger the harvest. So let's pop that under there too. I've used it. And that's another scoring thing I need to think about. Cards for the new round are, whenever you take a build action, you can just use the ore as if it was steel. Giving cards is always after the rounds that it applies to. It's almost as if that was done on purpose. Immediately take any two cubes from the stockyard, one shy max. The scoring puts me off that because I'm probably not going to do a lot of track building, uh, laying. Whenever you lay track, do it at one more than the current work rate and some station and leave points, which is good for me. Weather. We need to drag these down. Sun is coming up, which means that harvests might keep being triggered, but it's only going to be one at a time, but still that's a lot of tea leaves. So not so good at excavating or laying track right now, but the tea leaf rate goes up again, which triggers a tea harvest. I have six estates and the grow rate is two. So that gets me, these are, are these fives? Yes, these are fives. That gets me 12 tea leaves. So... I could really go heavy into Siliguri Town. That's a lot of points. It's an achievement to knock off, isn't it? And the grow rate goes back down to one. I still have all those iron cubes, so I haven't helped the bag situation just yet. And, <laughs> oh no. I just gave it a big shake as well, thinking I've just put a load of event cubes back in this. Two of the three <laughs> just come straight back out. Well, I don't have any equipment, so I don't need to worry about the maintenance. All that equipment. Uh, and then that's that's a harvest, isn't it? Oh, that's that's actually okay, isn't it? So immediately perform harvest and then lay track as per event number three. Right then. So a harvest, but it's just at one right now. So that's another six tea leaves for me. And then lay track as per event number three. Which was how much is just equal to the work rate, isn't it? Yes. So I'm running out of game ownership discs. Uh, we... It builds track in... Yeah, that was already done last time because it got to do two, didn't it? The work rate is only one at the moment, so it just gets to do that bit of track. And uh, they don't go back... There's one more cube, isn't there? And that's going to make that go there. I probably should have been boosting some of these actions with uh, Chai as well, you know? Building in more spaces at once. But what I am going to do is do some converting and then doing some building. And I think I'm going to spend chai for both of those. So for converting, if I spend chai, instead of just getting to do three of these conversions, so it's three iron for a steel, two rubble for a stone, one stone for two rubble. Instead of just getting to do three of those, I get to do as many as I like. And also I can get the steel exchange rates. Instead of three iron, it only costs two. And also when I do some building, I can spend chai to do an extra build with that worker. So I think I'm, I've only got one chai. I should have two chai, right? Yeah, I didn't spend it. I'm pretty sure I should have two there. And then I've knocked that at some point. Subtitles will tell me. Okay, so... It's conversions. I've got myself six iron ore, which can translate into three steel bars. And those iron ore go back in the bag and make it a little bit less likely that I will draw events straight back out. And I think I'm going to use six rubble to convert into stone now you can take the stone from the bag which i don't really want in the in the multiplayer game or in the solo game as well you can be thinking if you really want an event to come out you can manipulate that bag a little bit but i'm going to take those from the stockyard which i'm allowed to do so when i spend them they'll go straight back into the bag now we can do some building and since maintenance has just happened i'm more inclined to get some equipment now the achievement is either for one piece of equipment or for never using equipment. These do come with chai, which make them tempting. And whenever you lay track, you get chai. I'm gonna build in a station to get some equipment. So I've used chai, both of my chai to boost both of these actions. I'm going to build 
let's say in Rangtong, I can still keep my action, my options open. I don't think I'm going to build in every station though, just because that gives me some equipment for free. I'm going to take the shunter because it just costs two rubble to get my third worker every round. At the moment, I've got 12 rubble. If I don't spend it for anything else, and hopefully I'm going to get some more rubble still. So that gave me equipment. I needed to spend a steel bar to do that. And my other build is going to be for three tea leaves out of my million. I get to grab nine points that we're so close to. I'm not going to build in every space in Siliguri Town, am I? <laughs> I think that's just a pipe dream because the next event cube that comes out is going to wipe off those spaces. The new card time, that is going to be after this card has been played, no other contract cards may be played for the rest of the round. Uh, game doesn't. <laughs> not so good in this other game. Uh, after all other build actions have been resolved, you can take one as if you put a worker there. Two leaves for five points as well. Immediately take any cubes again. Five track for 40 points. Then the weather needs to be dealt with. And that's going to be sun, sun, sun. Oh, yes. It is sun, 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 in fact. And then two and one. So there's going to be a harvest next time just for one each. But still, they keep rolling in. I do need to be looking at cards that reward me for having those tea leaves. Because otherwise, then I'm going to with anything. Oh, and I do want to pay two rubble to get my third worker. And then six cubes. Making sure that event cube can't come out. Ah, no, the shakes. The shakes always bring it out. Okay, then, so we can forget the Siliguri Town achievement. But we can look forward to the bag being a lot more orderly because we need to reduce the stockyard down to just seven of iron, four of stone, and just one chai. And four, five, and six go back in the bag as well. And we are, it's the work rate, isn't it, in a solo game? So it's taking five off there for me, which absolutely does make sure what I'm doing for this round. I'm going to do two excavation things. That's going to clear out the tier states. And so I've done all the tier states. So there are six more stations. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I want to be in every station and then the tier states, that's all of my discs right there. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Okay, we've got so many tea leaves. I think we need to do some conversion into chai. I'm only going to be allowed to do three, but that's something. And am I going to go with the excavation plan? I haven't got a better one. So yes, I am going to go for it. So that's just going to be 10, which is all of the rubble that's left, which is good. That's uh, that's fuel for my uh, workers, isn't it? For two rubble a time to get them back every time. Uh, so there we go. My tier states are complete. I've unlocked that achievement at the very least and 11 more points. And then finally, we can skip all the way to the end of the track, and it's a tea leaf for a chai. So I will spend three of my many, 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 many tea leaves to get three chai. You can also choose to take tea leaves as well. It's tea leaves equal to the grow rate. So I would get a tea leaf for doing that action if I wanted to. The cards that come out, swap the weather disc in the middle with one of your choice. Uh, whenever it double the excavation, don't care about that anymore. And, oh, we need to put an action out as well, I think. Uh, leave one of your workers on its action space at the end of the round. The worker will take that action next round. When there is no more rubble in the tier state spaces, the dead will walk the earth. No, we need to put this uh, action card over B. So there is an extra opportunity to do some building instead, but it, it comes in this order, I believe, which can make a big difference in the multiplayer game if, you wanna, if there's something you desperately want to build. Weather. We are triggering a harvest. I've just realized that, so what? <laughs> I'm not gonna get to do anything with all of this stuff. That's eight tea leaves for me right now. Well, I think there are achievements. Let me just grab the book again. There are achievements for having, look at that. 20 tea leaves in reserve, 40, 60 tea leaves in, re in reserve, and the game with a full chai track, and the game with 30 unused rubble. Uh, eight steel in reserve, not gonna have that. Teetotaler. And the game without tea leaves, ownership cubes in tier state, Siliguri, or Darjeeling, and score over 150 points. Oh, and the end game triggered by using all of your score markers, not the building of the last track space. Score loads of points in just contract cards, score points without having any tier states. So many different ways to go. So we need to... Oh, I've, I've just done the cards and the weather, haven't I? We need to make the next weather coming up be some rainy rain. Then... Yeah, we've done contract cards, we've done weather, it's time for the bag. That's going to be 
events. I'm fine with events because, oh, it does make maintenance come up sooner, but that's two spaces boosting the grow rate. Then we've got some iron and stone. Oh, and I haven't I haven't gone there, so it doesn't matter, but I, I don't have enough game ownership discs to block off all of these spaces. I should have, when this event cube came out, Silgary Town is off limits. So let's see. I don't want to convert leaves into chai. I don't want any of those contract cards. I don't like their scoring. I can build in stations, but I want to build in some of these stations. And me building track to be able to build in those stations isn't going to help. It feels just like stalling to get a load of iron again. And building in there would get me chai that I can't spend yet. Although I could. We could come over and grab some iron. Just build up that steel. There is an achievement, I think, for building all of these track pieces. Oh, it's these four. One, two, three, four. And that one was already built randomly by the game at the start. So we're not getting that achievement. I could, of course, spend chai to clear this out a bit. Yeah, maybe it's worth doing that. I would like some cards that want me to have tea leaves. I could just spend all of that chai again and just get loads of resources. Yeah, let's come over and get some resources. We can just get three iron. But I could spend a chai to get five. But how does having eight help? I have five, and then my second action, I can take six. A couple of stone for the future, future station spaces. And then I'm going to pay a chai to clear the cards out for... Do I want to clear the cards out? What if I just used this? Am I going to build three pieces of track, though, for these 24 points? I could just leave him on there and get another card next round. No, I want to clear them out. Pay a chai. And what have we got? Plus one to the work rate. Discard that for maintenance. Or draw the top two cards from the contract deck. You can keep one. You've drawn and discard the others. 14 points for two station, a track, and a leaf. Well, this one up here, four leaves, four track for 19 points. We could do one piece of track before the end of the game, I'm pretty sure. I like that. But you have to use the card at the start of F. So I can't use that this round, the ability of it. New round, we've got one stone discount when you're building uh, this round. Uh, if it's sunny, trigger a full harvest immediately. And you could do that the same round you got it. Because you get the card in F and then it triggers in G. At the end of the game, two points for every chai. Hmm. Uh, whenever you pay stone, one stone less. Okay then. Uh, we, we need to wait, but I'm getting a card. Knock everything off. It's sunny. Again, I need to shuffle the deck so we can see what the weather's going to be. It's rain, which will help with harvesting. Okay. So... Bag. You know, I'm forgetting something. And let's, while I'm thinking about it, a little bit early, but I'm paying the two rubble to keep my third worker. Then bag destroys everything in its wake. And I wouldn't mind some track being built. Got three, which is good because it's happening. Four, five, six. Just the one event then. But there are quite a few cubes in there. Although having said that, everything is uh, building up. So, builds at the current rate, which is two pieces. Tindaria, and then there, which now unlocks these station spaces to build in. Oh, actually, just two, because Agony Point got knocked in it. Nine points, though, for four stone over here. Okay, now it's action stations. Let's see, I want a contract card. I'm going to do this. Draw the top two cards. Oh, keep this card. Or one of the cards you've drawn, so... Oh, so I either keep this for just its scoring ability, or I can have one of these instead. Leave one of your workers on an action space at the end of the round. Have to have built three track for that. Five station things and three leaves for 22 points. Sounds good, though. I could lay track better if I ever decide to do that. Yeah, I'm going to go for that one instead of that. I didn't do the weather effect now, did I? I don't think I did. Because this should have triggered. Two, one, triggered a harvest, which would... Knock that back down to one, but get me six more tea leaves. Actually, eight more tea leaves, I should say. So I need three more spaces in stations to have been built in. Okay, let's go there. I would get to build in four track spaces at the moment if I went there and spent some chai. I've only got two steel, so maybe we should do some 
conversion. Should I just get some more so I can just do three steel bar conversions? Do I want to build it? Why do I want to build a load of track there? Just because I've got that bonus from the lay track. Now let's build in a station and boost that. And I could actually get the cord by building rather than having to go over there. So I could get myself some iron first. Yeah, let's do that. And let's do the building afterwards. So that's going to be... Do I need more chai? No, because I want the iron to do this. But I wanted the chai to boost that and building. I've only got one chai. So let's take two iron and a chai. Top that up. Then converting, I've got two, four, six, eight iron, which translates to four steel bars. Oh, I'm spending the chai, by the way, so I can do infinite of these. And I'm going to spend six rubble. Now, rubble isn't coming back, is it? Do I want to do that? You know, I'd like some more stone, but I might just have to go over and get it. I'm going to spend four more rubble, actually, for two stone, which I'll take from there. Try and stop events happening. And although by stopping events happening, I'm prolonging the game, aren't I? Because I'm not doing any track, really. Although I'm probably going to have a big run of doing some soon. I've got loads of steel bars now, haven't I? I've got six. Yeah, maybe it is time for that with Chai. Would do four. And then with my thing, I could do five in one great big go. That does uh, accelerate us towards the end of the game, though. And then building in stations, which I want to boost with Chai. So I get to do two of them. I can do four stone over here, back in the bag. To get myself the contract card I've always wanted. I could wait for rain. If rain's going to happen three times. But then this only works if it's sunny. I'm just thinking the harvest is only going to be for six tea leaves. But <laughs> I want to see how many I can get for that achievement. And then I've got another build that I can do. Which I've only got three stone now. I didn't want another one of these cards anyway. And that's past a river space, so I can't. I could get myself five points with six rubble. If I'm trying to be in every station, which I still could do if I don't ever build any track. I think six rubble for five points is going to be pretty good. I think it's not worth prolonging the game so long because you know, the, the AI only, you just get to build track twice as the event wheel goes around. But it's just two track at a time. So two would put him there and then needs another two to get there. And then another two would finally unlock these to build in. Yeah, it's just a lot more... It's a lot more hassle than it's worth, I think. Okay, we've got some sun coming up, but we've got some rain now. And the bro rate goes up a bit. Out of the bag. In terms of cards, we have got some leaves for some points up there. Nothing I'm that excited about getting right now, though. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. No events. And I'm going to pay my two rubble for my third worker. Oh, I didn't do this, did I? I meant to do this last round. If it's sunny trigger a full harvest, which would just get me another eight tea leaves. Okay, before the work rate drops again, I want to do a great big track build, I think. I'm going to go over there. I want to try to be able to do it, so I need to go and harvest one. And so what do I do after that? I'm going to get to build three, four, five pieces of track in one go. I think the achievement is for 20 points from track. I'm not going to get that. Four, eight. That's what you built. Four, eight, 11, 14, 18. So close if I did another one before the end of the game. It's unlikely though. I would have one piece of steel to do it. And then maybe just building in stations, try and rack up as many points as I can while they're still here. Is It is going to unlock these stations, so yeah, let's do some building. I can only do one build, but hey. So I will grab, let's just say, a couple of stone that might help in a station build, along with the chai that I really want. Then we will come over and grab the, the track. So I'll play my thing first. Whenever you take the lay track action, do it at one more than the current work rate. So that's two plus one plus two for spending the chai. Here we are about an hour in. <laughs> finally, well, more than that in my time. But uh, yeah, finally building some track. I've only got four markers though. That ends the game. 
if I do all of that. But I need... Oh, is that worth it then? I'm completely forgetting, you know, your limitations of... It's no good having all these steel bars for nothing, though. Limitations of the markers I've got left. Could I spend these on more useful things than just four and three pointers? So I'm not going to unlock this. I've only got four markers. And even if I did unlock this, I wouldn't have any markers left to build in stations. Put that shy back. I think points-wise, I would be better off building, say, four stone for nine points, and then just spend a load of rubble, I think. I want at least eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least one more station build. There is no great thing in the stations that's suddenly worth a load more points. Maybe I, I do just do the track, but I just I don't spend the chai on that. I could do two pieces of track, because this all this steel that I've got's worth nothing. <laughs> Wasted time getting that. I can't make a harvest happen, I don't think. And one's not coming for a, a while anyway. A couple of, if I hold out for a couple of rounds, but just circling and doing nothing while I do that. I think let's end and see what we got. So the most points, just for building where I can now. So I've done that, I can build at least two pieces with, without boosting it with a card or anything. There are more points available if we hold out for it though. We just need to wait for the game to do that track. What if we do just get some more chai? Spending the leaves to do that though. Contract card, I'm going to grab this because it's just five points for two leaves and that could be worth it to get some stone if I need it. It does convert. That's, that's 31 points. I just built three bits of track. What if we did that? Maybe that's better than stalling. Changing my mind a lot, but hey, it's solo. I can do that. Yeah, two, and I've played my card to do three bits of track. It's the next three, four, eight, 11 points. And then grab that card. I've done three bits of track. I've got three more markers on tier stakes. That's another 31 points. And if I can make sure I've got full chai and then build in Darjeeling, can I stall the game for that though? I don't know. New cards, train maintenance. So we, we can only really look at tea leaves now because I can't put, my, my last thing has to go on a station somewhere so it fulfills one of my scoring things. Weather is rainy again, down, down, up. And then really looking for three, four, five, six. There we go, an event. So one, two, three, back in the bag and it will complete the next station along. I can still pay my rubble for my worker. So he builds a track, he's only gonna do one at the moment. Imagine next round, the work rate will have gone up by the time he activates, and he do two, which would unlock these. And we want this one to unlock Darjeeling. So I can get a chai if I go and get some resources. I'm just doing some daft stalling now, aren't I? Cards. I could take a card that would save me from train maintenance, but and how useful it is getting that. The only thing that I'm really bothered about is tea leaves. Is it worth waiting for Darjeeling? Thinking about it? The max chai in a one play game is three. So it's your chai multiplied by three, which is nine points, right? I could just right now, for four stone, build in my handy for nine points. I do want my chai to be full because I've got two points for every chai on one of my cards. Yeah, there's not, there's not gonna be a harvest next round anymore. There is going to be a harvest when the things come around. Let's just see. I'm going to get some more resources and then top up my chai. Well, actually, yeah, let's get a contract card. Because I could, I could spend no tea leaves in getting chai. We could just get a of stone just in case I want to build somewhere and chai there. And then let's just get three stone. Then getting a contract card. I don't want to spend a chai for it. In case train maintenance comes along, although I do have steel bars to, to burn right now. Cards take things from the market. Uh, no other contract cards can be played. Stone discount. All need more track to be built, which I can't do. I just can't do it. And then two, one. Yep. Sun coming up. The work rate's about to be two as well. If next round a harvest is triggered, that's loads of tea leaves. Just for that achievement, though. That's literally all I'm doing right now. It's not going to affect points. So only one cube came out. So it's just going to be train maintenance, which uh, I can discard this card. I wasn't going to use it for points anyway, so I'll do that. 
I've just checked and there are no chai cubes in the bag actually. That is all of them. So I'm going to have to go here if I want that third chai. And then what else do I do? I should get, should get resources. Stall. Stall, stall. I need to pay two. Why am I paying to get that third worker? I'm just going to get six iron. I'm kind of manipulating the bag, I, I suppose, to try and make these events come out. And then I'm going to just turn one leaf into one chai, because that's my limit. Some cards came out. You've seen them all now, though. Fog is coming up, so yeah, it's gonna game's gonna have to end. Well, it doesn't have to end, but I think it should end soon because Fog's gonna mess up any kind of harvest that might happen. Harvest is definitely gonna happen. Sun is gonna make it happen next round, and that's another sixteen things, which is eight points. Six come out of the bag, and we've got so an extra harvest is triggered right now. Anyway, the harvest and build rails. The race is two, so that's 16 more for me. Work rate for track is just one, so he's not even unlocking the next <laughs> the next uh, stations. And then harvesting tier states, he can't do it. But he does put these back in the bag and knocks these down a bit. I think it's just iron that would go down four, five, six, seven. That's why I was trying to get all the iron so the bag wouldn't really get filled with them again. I'll just hold on to all of my resources and make these events happen. I'm not going to pay for my worker. <laughs> I realised that that was a bit daft. Work rate comes back down to one. I would have liked it to have stayed because I could get two uh, from here. But I think I'll come over and get one tea leaf. Why not? And then I'll just get some more cubes. Okay, weather. Yeah, just fog, 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 fog. Not half a grow rate, do we? So harvest is triggered. That's just going to be eight because the grow rate is one. Out the bag, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Just one boosts the grow rate. My right, two doesn't change it though. I think it's time now, before the fog kicks in, to just go over and let's use my last marker, which will trigger the end of the game, and get one more tea leaf. So the most points I can get, I believe, yeah, it definitely is, is uh, nine points for four stone. So the end of the game has been triggered, and yes, I do keep <laughs> the old scoring sheets. So first of all, we've got the points values for where our markers are. So I've got 11, 14, 18, 23, 26, 28, 33, 45, 54. No points there, no points there, none there. Uh, 58, 62, 71, 76, 79, and no points there. So 79. Oh, wait a minute, should that be? Oh, I've included the rail. I think it's 68 and 11. Oh no, I'm thinking that's a total. It's not a total space, is it? Oh, forget this column. I've messed up this column. I do apologise. So, here we go again. 68 and 11. This is your contract cards, of course. And you can, like, bring your disc... Now you've now you've scored your discs. You can now bring them off, so... Three discs from Estates and three discs from Track. You can go on there for 31 points. Then we need five more discs from T Estates, which I can do. For 12 points, three from stations and five tea leaves is 16 points, and then five from stations, three, four, five, and three tea leaves for 22 more points. Okay, so what is that? 34, 65, 81. I don't think that's an achievement. Actually, grade one is 80 points, so that's decent. I do have card 27. Oh, I haven't finished yet. I do have card 27. I have three chai, so that is going to be worth six points. Then, how many tea leaves do I have left over? 54, which is 27 points. Points on the chai track is four points. Equipment is not worth points in the solar game. That's it. So what's this going to add up to? Let's see, we've got... 149, 160, 166, 186, 193, 197. So not much more. So 197 points there. And ugh, I kind of want to do it just for the video, but I do hate drawing on things. I would, of course, photocopy this and keep it pristine. Uh, so let's have a look. Own all of the T estate spaces. I did that. No, I'm not going to check it off. <laughs> I owned all the tea estate spaces. One achievement. Let's do a tea leaf for every achievement. I did tea mogul. Uh, oh shit, marker on each station? No. Each of the four river spaces? No. 
all of these things. No, 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 no. Let's see. Points in station spaces. We'll never know, but it wasn't 60. 20 points in tracks I didn't do. So I used at least one equipment. Oh, I thought it was used one equipment. It's at least one. So I didn't score 200 or more. So I have got work gang worker. I scored 100. And deputy. And leader. For doing 175. 197. Three more points than I could have got. Coordinator. Uh, without using any equipment is another one as well. Without having any ownership marks in tier state spaces. And then points in contractor cards. I've got contractor grade one. Because I scored 81, 87 points in contract cards. 100 is the next rank. Uh, procrastinator. Have four or more unscored contract cards. and unused. Maybe I could have done that while I was dawdling at the end of the game, actually. Hmm. Uh, end the game with... How many tea leaves did I have? I had 54 tea leaves. So that gives me tea chest and tea store, but not quite tea warehouse that wanted 60 tea leaves in reserve. I get Chaiwala. I ended the game with a full chai track. I did not have 30 unused rubble. I had seven. Uh, I was spending it for workers though. And the game with eight steel in reserve. I did have three in reserve. Yeah, I should have I should have kept I should have been turning all this stuff into steel. Uh, end the game without tea leaves. Ownership cubes in tier states or Siliguri or Darjeeling. I don't qualify for that. Uh, end the game by using all of your score markers, not building the last track space. That's an achievement. And then campaign games. I can play you know, another game now. I could play three games in a row and try and score four, five, or 600 points in total for the marathon runner achievement. But that's not too bad, I think. Just in this game, four, seven, eight, nine achievements. Ain't too bad. You're definitely not going to get that many each time are you? Although next time I would go for either no tier states or no equipment to try and go for a few of those achievements in one big go. But I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you an idea of what solo is like in Elabari. If you'd like to know about two player, again, I've got another playthrough that I'll link in the description. Uh, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.